His reactions continue to trail the dissolution of the Federal Special anti robbery Squad by the Inspector General of Police, Mohamed Adamo. The police unit was scrapped following protests by Nigerian youth after a video of a man shot by the police in Ugeli Delta State went viral. But many young Nigerians say they plan to continue protesting until an executive order is passed to affirm the dissolution of SARS. They say there is the need to ensure full commitment from the government as uh, several attempts to reform SAS in the past yielded zero results. Well, joining us from Abuja is Honorable Yusuf Gagdi, representing Panshi Kanke Kanam Federal Constituency of Plateau State. He sponsored the Police Bill 2020, which is now an act. Good morning, and thank you for joining us on TVC Breakfast. Good morning. Now, a lot of Nigerians are concerned uh, that this move uh, by the government may not be any different from what uh, they have recorded over the years. Uh, several attempts have been made to reform SARS in 2017, 2018, and 2019. And so uh, they are wondering, uh, what more, what would make this uh, different from other things, uh, other attempts by government to reform the, the police force? Well, this is different as far as I'm concerned. There is a high hope that police reform have come to stay. Why I say this is because of the fact that previous administration have made attempt to, re to, to, to reform the Nigerian police, but the attempt ended up in futility. But in this uh, Ninth National Assembly, the attempt to adjust even the Police Act of 2004 itself come to reality as a result of the commitment of Speaker Right Honorable Femi Bajabi Emila and the commitment of the Senate President, uh, Senator Ahmed Lawal, who are desirous of ensuring that the police is reformed as well as the issue of insecurity is tackled. For us to sponsor a, a, a bill that come to stay, that Mr. President graciously signed it into law uh, regarding to police reform, I think people, Nigerians, should see the genuineness in this administration, both the executive and the legislative arm, in ensuring that police reform have come to stay. The genuineness and, uh, if, if they want no to willingness. see, if the genuineness they want to see is that beyond what is written in the paper, there is steps to implementing all of that uh, that is agreed upon. Yes, implementing. Hither to this time, was that anything that was put on the paper signed by President for us to even expect implementing it? From 1999, aside of the little adjustment done to or adoption of the version of 1947 Police Act that was put together by pre-colonial masters, there was nothing on the paper for the police, to, for Nigerians to even expect that police reform is going to stay. But for us to have a law today, that is called 2020 Police Act. I think if anybody thinks that this administration at the risk of sounding immodest is not desirous of ensuring that uh, we have a citizen police friendly reform, it means we are not equally appreciating what the government is doing. As far as I'm concerned, for us to have an act that is called 2020 Act, the, the administration, both the executive and the legislator, are desirous of ensuring that we have an apt police reform. Now, another major concern for a, a lot of Nigerians is the aspect which they believe will address the issues of corruption, talking about the welfare. Uh, is that holistically captured that will bring about a change, perhaps in the approach to the welfare of, of the police force, such that what we see that a lot of Nigerians are fighting now will not be seen anymore? Yes, I think with the law that is packaged and put together to Mr. President, whom has been signed, who is, has been signed, 
I want to say without any fear of contradiction that the issue of welfare of the Nigerian police was absolutely addressed in the 2020 Police Act. The issue of discrimination among the male and female, the, pol the 2020 Police Act is gender friendly. The issue of even accountability and checkmating the powers of the Inspector General of Police as well as the power of the police force itself was absolutely addressed. The issue of, you know, uh, rivalry between the inter-agencies like the police service commission as well as the police force itself, all of this was addressed. So I think, the, uh, uh, talking specifically about the welfare of the Nigerian police force, the 2020 Act have addressed it, including some of the benefiting allowance benefited by other security agencies in the country. I think the Act equally captured that to enable some of their operations and how they will benefit from such operations. The, the, the 2020 Act have addressed issue of welfare very well. All right, we'll leave the conversation here now, Honorable Yusuf Gagdi. All right, before we let you go, uh, another aspect we'd like for you to quickly uh, address is the aspect of uh, the NSAS uh, protest. Now, the issue of trust is a major issue, and that a lot of people believe stems from the fact that not much has been seen with regards to justice being done when cases arise, uh, when it comes to human rights abuses. Uh, how would you like to react to this? Well, uh, I first will commend Mr. President for even and the Inspector General of Police for dissolving SARS itself. But I want to say that uh, end SARS protests it mean different things to different people. To those who think that it was a movement that is geared toward ensuring brutality and other inhuman act meted to Nigerians by the SARS is curtailed or reduced to the barest minimum, it's a welcoming development. But to others who think that it's a platform for them to oppose government, uh, you know, some of us put question mark to that aspect. But the commitment of the Inspector General of Police, particularly Mr. President, to ensure that the SAS is dissolved is a welcoming development. But people must not forget that police is a security agent. And therefore, while dissolving SAS, I am happy with the comment, the statement made by Inspector General of Police that he is trying to look for a befitting platform that will be people friendly. Because, one, you cannot, uh, there is no organization that doesn't have bad eggs. SARS have bad eggs. If you ask me what should have been done, yes, dissolution is good, but let us remove the bad eggs in the SARS. And let us reform, How try we to go look about at the platform. The yes, yes, the Inspector General of Police reserved the prerogative of coming up with another platform that will ensure the security of life of people of Nigeria. I don't think, having ended SARS, having dissolved SARS, the government should not come up with another platform that will ensure arm robbery is curtailed to the barest minimum, that will ensure kidnapping and other internal security challenges are addressed. So I would want to call on the Inspector General of Police, use this platform to call on the police force itself to ensure without wasting much time that another platform is put in place to be able to close the gap between issues of insecurity. We don't need SARS. Yes, we don't need SARS because of their actions, because of their activities, but it's not all of them that are bad. But I equally expect that the end SARS protest should end if SARS has been ended, unless if there is a political motive behind the protest. If the SARS has been ended, give the police the benefit of the doubt of seeing whether other issue of insecurity in terms of coming up with another platform will be addressed by the Nigerian police. But any action by the protesters having their demands being fulfilled by the police, I think it's, it's tantamount to internal security. So I want to advise the originators of those protests that we thank them as Nigerians, but I think we should be able to give the police force the benefit of the doubt of ensuring, yes, the South is ended, and All of right. coming up with another security platform that will equally assist Nigerians in times of a different menace of insecurity that All is right. bedeviling the country. Honorable Yusuf Gakde, we have to leave the conversation here now. Thank you for your time on the program. Thank you, thank you.